today I'm gonna take the shot just to show you how I make a ring out of stacked wood like that right there. All I did was took a couple pieces of birch as you can see. That's river birch right there. And then I took two slices of poplar and glued on the inside. It looks pretty horrible, but it's there. All I'm gonna do is take it to the uh bandsaw and just knock off the edges and true it up a little bit. And I'm gonna take a new, a new drill bit that I got. It's, it's a Forstner bit. These things are amazing be with different types of wood because so it doesn't like tear it out or break it or split it or anything. Hopefully. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. You know, that would be great. Enjoy. <laughs> Now I'm just going to hold this with my hand and I'm kidding. I learned from that mistake. That's how you really get into a bit of a pickle. Okay. Got that pretty secure. Got to flatten that out. Okay, get that centered up. Okay, lock that down. And contact. Uh -oh. Forgot to put something on the bottom here to keep it from. Going into the metal and messing up drill bit. There we go. Perfect flat bottom hole.
worked pretty good. My head's thinning up a little bit. Yeah, it'll be fine. Send it up to um, 400 grit. Now I'm about to hit it with a quick 1,000. I use automotive sandpaper because it's awesome. There we go. So smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to do is do my usual finish which is a light coat of uh, CS glue or super glue whichever one you want to call it take the super glue and just take it and just spin it after I do that I take the back side of uh, sandpaper just kind of rub it in now let that dry 